Grade 4 math number 105, measure and draw angles. In our previous video, we talked about degrees, that angles are measured in units called degrees, which we also measure the temperature outside or of, of you, you know, with a thermometer to see if you have a fever. The symbol for degree is a tiny circle on the upper right side of a number like this. That means 90 degrees. If you see an M and the angle measure, that means the measure of the angle. So if you remember from our other videos, if you saw this, it meant angle ABC. So if we put an M in front of it, that means the measure of angle ABC. It means how many degrees, okay? The size and degrees of the angle. So I want to show you this. This is my protractor. I don't know how well the focus is on this but it's got inch measures down here, it's got centimeter measures right here, and then on the inside of this arc is degree measures, and on the outside of this arc are degree measures. So maybe if I turn the light on a little bit, maybe you'll be able to see it better, if that helps. What you do is, there's a circle right here. If you can see, this is a Westcott brand. Any brand that is clear, is, is good because when you can see through it, then it really helps you see the lines underneath it. But what we do is, I kind of try to draw a big one. On the line right here, see this line? You line up the angle on that line. And then you look at where the angle is coming through the protractor like this. And you match up the vertex to this tiny, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiny little hole right here, okay? And you match the vertex up to that little hole, and you match one of the rays of the angle to the line that's running through right along here. You'll see a line running through the bottom there. Can you see that line running through along the bottom, underneath the inches? All right, so one ray gets matched up along that, and then the other ray is going to shoot up out of the protractor like this, okay? So, what I want you to remember is this, that a 90 degree angle is straight up, okay? See that's 90? A 90 degree angle is like this, right? It's like a, like a box or like a square. So as long as you remember that the 90 degree angle goes straight up, that means any angle that's smaller than that straight up one is an acute angle, and it's going to be less than a 90, and anything bigger, anything on this side of it that's open more is an obtuse angle, and it's going to be more than 90, okay? Because there's two sets of numbers. If you look here, you'll see there's hundreds on this side, but then it goes 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. See, like here? But on the inside over here, See how it goes 80, 70, 60, 40 on the inside here, but on the outside it goes 120, 130, 140? So this is on this outside in case there is an angle going in this direction. See? Then you can line this ray up with the line and read that it's probably like a 130 or 120 degree angle from out here. But if the angle is going like this, then you can line this ray up on the line and use the inside measure to see that it's like a 40 or 50 or 45 or whatever degree angle, see? So depending on how open or acute or obtuse the angle is, you're going to use the inside or outside measure. Just remember that 90 is the crossing over point. So because this angle is an obtuse one, we're going to go with the 130 and not 50, see? We know this isn't a 50 degree angle. This is open too much to be a 50 degree angle, isn't it? It's bigger than 90, so it's got to be the 130, all right? So we place that little hole or dot right in the center there on the tip of the vertex, and we measure how open the angle is on the protractor, okay? So if I take mine, let's get this tape off. Hang on. Give me a second. If I take the tape off of mine, and we line up, can you see the little hole right there? If we line that little hole, it's underneath the letters T and C in Westcott. And if we line up the hole on the vertex right there, 
okay? And then we line the line up on that ray, then we can see that it falls in between 140 and 120. See that? On the outer numbers. So we know that because it's an acute angle, it's not a 130 degree angle. If you look on the inside part of it, you'll see that it's in between 40 and 60. It's on the 50. See? We're going by the 50 right here and not the 130. See, it's not an obtuse angle, so it's not 130. It's little. It's acute. So we're going to go with the inside measure. See? So if we line this up, you can see that it lands on 50, and we know it's a 50-degree angle. Okay? If we line the vertex up and it's bigger than a 90-degree angle, we know that the measure is going to be bigger than 90, right? And if we line the ray up with the line by the measures on the bottom with the inches, and we look at the top here, we can see that it's not quite 130 right there. See? It's like 127. So we know it's a 127 degree angle. And if you look, it's got little increments that could be fives. It goes from 60, and then there's a bunch of little lines, 61, 62, 63, 64, and there's a middle size line that's a 65. So if the line is too short, we can extend the line with our pencil and just take your pencil and make the line longer. So if we wanted to measure this one, but it was only that long, and we went like this and said, well, I can't see because, you know, the line's not long enough. Then make the line longer with your pencil so that you can see where it falls, okay? Sometimes you can just see where the line is pointing to, all right? So here's an acute angle, and we measured it. We lined up the vertex with the hole and with the line at the bottom by the inches, and we saw that this was a 30-degree angle, see? It landed on the 30. And then this one is 110. We line up the vertex and the line and the hole, and we saw that this is 110. See that? A right angle is 90 degrees. Okay. And then here's a straight angle. It just goes straight across the bottom of this. It's 180. Okay. If you remember from our previous video, we said that a circle is 360 degrees, and half of it, this is actually a measure that is open so much that it laid flat, and it's called a straight angle. See? It's, it was open like that, and then it laid all the way down, so it became a straight angle. See? It's, it's so open that it laid flat. That's a straight angle, okay? And those are 180 degrees. So look at your protractor. Get yourself a clear one, okay? Because they're the easiest to see the lines through, all right? And then you look at the measures on them. And you can measure centimeters in here or inches down there. All right? You can go either way. You can see through it, all right? And you'll be able to measure and draw angles, too. If someone said, uh, draw a, an angle that is 30 degrees, you would start with a straight line, and then you would take your protractor and line it up on the straight line at this line right here. See this line right here underneath the word Westcott? And you would line it up with the vertex on that line, and then you would see where 30 is. Okay, if I line this up, we can see 30 is right there. You put a dot there, all right? And then once your dot is there, then you take your protractor like this and line it up along the dot and you draw your line, see? So if we measured it and we said, okay, that's where the 30 degree is, you know, we measured it and that's where it came out to be, then we'd go like this and then use our protractor to draw the straight line. And then once we drew the straight line with the bottom of the protractor, we'd say, okay, you know, that's a 30 degree angle, see? So it's pretty easy to draw angles with them too. So you can read what the measure is and you can draw an angle, okay? 
That's measuring and drawing angles with a protractor. See if you can get yourself one. I bet they've got them at the dollar store. They're very, very inexpensive. Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.